if we are to follow after Jesus, we must see his being and we must hear his voice and follow after that voice. In the month of January and the year of 2023, at that time, I was repenting of watching uh, streaming services at that time. Getting rid of Disney+, Plus, getting rid of Netflix, Hulu. Um, eventually in time in September, October of last year, it was Peacock, and then it was Video Prime. At that time, I got rid of those streaming services. And because I said to myself, Lord, I can't keep going on like this. And around that time, a brother in the Lord sent in a video to, if you have not seen the Lord, you should just pray. And that's exactly what I did. And I prayed to the Lord. And what I ended up doing was this. I prayed and I prayed. One night I went to bed. And during this dream, I was in this very large area, but it was like a two walled area. And there was this opening area that had balconies that was part of this wall. This walk, this wall right there, there was a balcony up ahead. But then up ahead, there was, a, there was an opening area. And then I saw the glory of the Lord above me. I didn't see his being, but I know the Lord was above me because his glory appeared above me. And I fell on my knees and gave praise to him. I was worshiping him. And then eventually the Lord spoke to me. Me and him are talking. I don't remember exactly what happened, but the Lord made it clear to me that he was not pleased with me. And then at one point, he said, depart from me, for I do not know you. And I said, what? But Lord, and I made an excuse of whatever sin that I made. And then he spoke back to me, rebuking of why he's judged me of that sin. Then he said again to me, depart from me, for I do not know you. And I said, what? But Lord, and I made an excuse of whatever sin he condemned me for. And then he spoke judgment against me. And then I made whatever excuse I made. And then I, he said, while I was speaking, depart from me, for I do not know you. And then I felt physical tears come down my face. And I said, Lord, please. And then the Lord saw my heart and he said, Go and tell others what you have seen. And I stood up and I got up and I didn't even make one step. And I was about to turn around and I stopped and I turned back around to not even look at his glory, but to hear his voice anyway. I said, Lord, if you are willing, allow me to have a wife. But if you want me to go, I will go. And he said, go. And his go, when he said that to me, was resounding. And in the dream of that dream, if that makes sense, I was trying to wake myself up, which eventually I think I hit my head on a, I jumped off of a pickup truck, which then I woke myself up from the dream of the dream. And I woke up and I went and told people about this. And people were denouncing me. They were saying the Lord has not revealed himself to you. And they were just basically disregarding that the Lord revealed himself to me. And then eventually I woke up from my sleep, my physical sleep. And then I woke up very, not disturbed, but I was very shocked of what happened. And then I thought to myself, you know, this probably was just a dream that my mind was trying to make sense of because sometimes dreams can end up being like that but then I said to myself no 
I will not think this. And it really made me think at that moment to think that. But I realized, no, Jesus revealed himself to me. Because I asked, and that is what he did. And even then, when I eventually told my family, half of my family believed me. Some of my family did not believe me. They they still, recently, someone said that they, they said, Nick, the enemy is playing games with you. And people at my work did not believe me. And even at my other job, I was out driving and I said, and I thought to myself, I'm going to tell my boss this. This was at my other job that I work on and off. And what ended up happening next was I went there, I told him, because I felt that I wanted, that I should tell him this. And I told him this and he was disturbed. He, he knew that like that really moved him and we me and him talked for about maybe an hour or two but I want to tell anyone who's listening to this video whether you hate the message I give or you are will, really wanting to follow Jesus you need to repent you need to ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins and what I mean by repent, it isn't changing of mind that Billy Graham said. What repenting is, you need to stop sinning. You do not go towards drinking anymore. You do not smoke anymore. You do not have sex outside of marriage or fornicate with anyone. You stop masturbating to porn. You stop cursing, slandering, gossiping. You stop worrying about the clicks that you're involved in or wanting to be in. And also, you need to repent within your heart. And then you then go and ask the Lord, Lord, reveal yourself to me. Whatever in any way the Lord um, guides you to, to do so, then do so. But plainly to say plainly, you need to repent if you're going to follow the Lord. And if you want to see his being, do not expect it to be on good terms. A man named uh, Brian Pittman, I think his name is, he was in the ambulance for about, I think, maybe 15 minutes to an hour. He died, and the Lord told him, your works were dead. Think of this. Howard Pittman told people about the Lord, and he called him Lord, Lord. People can think they can go living as Christians to think that if I have the Lord's words within my possession, then, I, then I'm then i good. Or if they, they see it at every single church on every street corner, like I literally live next to a church, quite literally, with three crosses facing my house. And people can think, well, we can still follow the Lord. We can still follow the Lord if we go to church. What does the Lord say about that church? That's what matters most. And what does the Lord say about you? That's what matters most. You need to know what the Lord says about the church you go to. But infallibly, more importantly, what does Jesus say about you? Don't go for an, an itching ear feeling in your heart and your ears of what you want to hear, but it's what you need to hear. Forget the wants, because the wants are worthless in the eyes of the Lord. It's what the need is what you need to hear. Think about this. I don't say this to shame you, but to make you realize that the Lord is a serious God, and he will strike anyone down. He will tell you, Depart from me, for I do not know you. And what a scary expectation that is. Because every day the Lord is striking someone down. But also the Lord is lifting people up. Because people are actually truly calling his name. Though it is few, he is still doing it. Whether it be 
excuse me, even though it's not known to the world, but the reason why it's not known to the world is because anyone who, excuse me, anyone who wants to know the Lord does not sign out to be popular in public eye or in a certain public eye that is only for that certain minority. You sought out the Lord that is pleasing to him, not to gain popularity. You do it to be pleasing to Jesus. And who cares what anyone says about you? Who cares what your family says or what your friends say or what the people say in church about you? What matters is what Jesus said. The other day, I recently, though this is not part of the subject, but somebody that I ended up working with was a PK, a pastor's kid. And they had tattoos on their arm. And personally, I wanted to so badly want to tell this person about the truth and what the Lord has revealed to me. But I chose not to. Not to not start an argument. Because I didn't want to start a, a discussion at another job that I don't work at to begin with which is not even my store that I work at to begin with. But you do not want to be casting your pearls to swine. And I just don't want to burn myself out wasting time. But this time, I, but the time that we all, including myself, must do is Tell people about Jesus when the time is right. If we have to wear a shirt, I mean, this is obviously not a shirt for Christ, but we need to be wearing shirts for Jesus that whether we, we make or what um, other people make for us and then we get on the internet for free. But I just want to say plainly, sought after, Je sought after Jesus, go after him, follow him. Eat his flesh and drink his blood. Don't go after the Bible. Though, if the Lord guides you to read the Bible, then read the Bible. But don't think infallibly in the Bible you can know Jesus. Infallibly. You need to know him beyond the Bible. May Jesus bless those who hear and have an ear to hear.